Jesus. We're back on the course with Seacal. Seacal, what's going on? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's going on, man? So how long have you been rapping, Seacal? Shit, man, damn. For about a good 12 years. I started rapping in probably about 1998 when I was like 16. So. What made you start rapping? Uh, it's crazy because, you know, I've been asked that question before when I was on 91.1 FM. Um, basically, you know, um, I, fi I felt like I never, like, just woke up one day and was like, oh, I just want to be a rapper because I want to be on TV and all this. I just basically, I started writing as, as, as in poetry, and then I started, like, you know, putting it together with rhymes. And I'm like, you know what? And then I just found out, like, when I would write rhymes, it, would, it was the best way to express myself creatively. So I'm like, I could do this. I'm like, so I, it was really just a thing where, you know, I could just get it out. Like, instead of going to punch, beat somebody up or shoot somebody or do something bad, I just write rhymes and release my aggression and my pain and my, my everything through the rhyme, through, through, through rapping, you know what I mean? So that's basically why I did start. How many shows have you done so far? Shoot, probably about a good, oh man, probably not even that many, honestly, because it's just very, very hard to, to, to do the hip-hop thing in Ohio. I mean, I probably did maybe like 30 shows throughout the, me and uh, with my group Mulatto Faction, and then actually I've never done a solo uh, show ever. Never did a solo show? Never, never. I did a few, like, you know, I rap for a couple of people and stuff, like, on some cool shit at parties and stuff like that, but I never did, like, a whole set by myself, which I'm about to do soon because I got a new album, The Rebel, coming out soon. So, and a mixtape, The Sea Cal Experience, so. Where would you like to see Sea Cal in uh, two years? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to be 28 uh, this Wednesday, so uh, I'll be 30 then, so hopefully... Doing, doing something with the music to make money. She would maybe even have a radio show like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Again, you can call the studio at area code 440-319-6264 or out of state, 1-800-555-5015. Ask Cal some questions. I'll be glad to hear from you. This is an interactive show. That's why we're here. It's to interact with, of course, you out there on the Internet. And Seacal would love to have some callers and, of course, some messages on the message board. For sure. Hit us up. Who's some of the artists you ever rapped with? Um, mostly just my, uh, my group. But, um, you know, LJ and Frank G, and I do a lot of stuff with them all the time. LJ got a new mixtape coming out soon. Check him out. You can go check him out on MySpace as well. LJ of Mulatto Faction and Frank G of Mulatto Faction. But uh, I I've, I've did a few little joints with a couple people. Um, there's a dude named Mr. New Era. He actually lives on the west side of Lorraine, too. He's doing things, too. He's made, he got the, the video game popping out there right now. So go check out Mr. New Era. And then I did a song with uh, Jay Gamble of G-Spot. But uh, he do his thing, too. He, he, he's one of those, like, if you want a sample beat, he's really, really good at that. So I, I did some stuff with him. I did some stuff with other people, but, you know, I can't really remember exactly who I did with. But I just sent, a few people. Actually, I sent a message to, uh, to Jay Gamble about coming on the show. Yeah. And nothing ever came back. Uh, Actually, well, I sent you a message a long time ago. Really? A long, yes. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. I, it's a long time ago. It must have been a glitch because I would have came. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know how quick it came up last time because we're supposed to have somebody else on the show today. But family prom family things. So, like I said, I hate to have replacements. But, hey, what best way to have another replacement? Sea Cal from Lorraine, of course. Yep, you already know what it is. <laughs> right around the block. Campito. And I'm on the west side right now for 21st Street. You already know what it is. Uh, shout outs to got a little hater on the uh, on the MySpace, Mike Jarvis. You know, making little disses about me. I'm on the west. I'm on the west side on 21st Street right now. He's yeah, a, I don't ever be on the west side. He's on. He's on your MySpace already. Sending send you messages on your MySpace. Uh, what do you mean? Do you I mean? thought you said. He's no, on no, no. I'm, I'm just saying that I got. There's a. You know, I ain't really gonna put his name out there again. I ain't gonna help promote him like that. Yeah. But <laughs> I got a little hater. You know, that's out there. I mean, I know you got a lot of haters, but you know, this this dude's <laughs> taking it to another level, though, man. He's trying to start stuff with me. And it's just crazy because it's like, <laughs> it's like I never met the dude in my, in my, my entire life. And he's talking about me on there like he knows me personally or something. But I never saw him in my entire life, never. Actually, Sea Dog should plug in the mic because when we, actually we first started um, Wild Night Radio, which is now, this is the wild side of Wild Night Radio. And basically, we had haters immediately, immediately. Wow. The first show. Wow. Calling us out and everything else. Meet us on um, right down the street in this road. <laughs> blah, 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 on and on and on. And they were going crazy. Wow. To meet you, you're a grown man. What are, they, <laughs> what are they trying to do with you? Oh, they were talking some shit. Oh, my wow, God. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding you. I am not kidding you. That is fucking crazy, yo. <laughs> and old wow. Sea Dog handled, handled, the, handled the message board well. 
He C Dog's good with words to destroy you, boy, and he was destroying him with words. Wow. <laughs> That's what pissed him off because this guy thought he was clever saying all this stuff, and C Dog would come back on the message board just one up and him, one up and him, one up and him. Finally, the guy's like, "That's it. Meet me in the corner of such and such." We went there too. We went up there. Oh, we, we, we were there. You really did? <laughs> yeah, we did. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's why I said C Dog had a mic. He 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 was he couldn't believe it. It started off being he was being a jackass on and on and on. Well. We eventually changed the show for the bands and, and of course, the hip-hop, and the person just disappeared. Gone. Oh, yeah? Yep. So what, he, what, he, was he a hip-hop, like, listener? Basically, yeah. Basically, he was a hip-hop listener, and what we were doing, we first started the show, I would talk, and we'd play different artists, and once in a while, kick in a band video and stuff like that. That's where yeah. he started. But I really wanted the live bands and the live people to come here. It just took some time to get it rolling once oh, yeah. it got rolling. Oh, no doubt. It always takes time. That's why you got to, you know, formulate a way to put things together and stuff like that so, you know, you can get out there. And, and it's, uh, it gets more people to listen, you know. And you always want, the, you know, the masses to come check you out, you know. So. And everybody out there, of course, on Wild Night Radio watching, you can get on the message board, send CCAL a message, or call. Again, you can call Studio Air Code 440-319-6264. All his boys out there. Yeah, call in. You already know what it is. I told everybody on Boy, the space, you know. Boys of the hoes can call. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. But boys if not, you know we're going to have a good show anyways, you know what I mean? Wild Man Jim going hard doing his thing. He's putting it down. He's coming out of Cleveland, you already know, putting it down for, for Lorraine, Ohio. You know, he's he's doing some things. Like, I didn't even know this shit existed, honestly. And I'm glad I, I found out about it because it's like, you know, this is good stuff right here. You know, he's he's helping up out the community. And you just don't even know about it. It's crazy. It's you know what I mean? featured in the paper, actually. The um, Chronicle was featured in the Chronicle. There'll be another story coming real soon about Sea Dog and, uh, of course, Sea Dog and Marky Mark in there. Be a That's what's story good. on that. Shout out to both them. You already know what's up. Good luck. And of course, um, have you ever played Peabody's yet? Yeah. I did Peabody's a couple times. Well, actually, you know what? I was supposed to do it a couple times, but I really honestly only did it once. I, I might have did it twice. I can't remember. It's been a while. Like, I, I'm going to say like 05. I did it with my group, Mulatto Faction. We did it a while ago. It's a cool place, but I don't know. Like, the, the guys that be putting them things together, I don't know. It's crazy. Like, the ticket game and all that. I don't know. The I ticket just, game. Yeah, like, because <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I call it. Because it's like, you, they're making you out there, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, selling tickets like you're selling drugs or something. Like, you know, you just got to get out there and sell them to, to really get a nice crowd of people to come check you out. So, so obviously you like the ticket sales, huh? Uh, <laughs> nah. Truthfully, I wish I could just get a little bit more promotion, like, like way more people knowing about me. So then when it's time, like, I, I feel like if the underground used a little bit of the tactics of marketing, marketing um, strategies like the industry does, then it would help the underground industry out way, way better than just trying to you know, book a whole bunch of bands, rappers, and then make them sell tickets to come to the show. Because then you'll have, like, one group that have 100 tickets and then one another group that have, like, 10. So that's it. Like, you know what I mean? It build, it'll help build the fan base more, you know? Help. Instead of these uh, big um, production companies trying to make you sell tickets, take the artists that are, you feel are really good enough to be out there like that, put some money behind them, and promote them more. W music, everything. Then people will know about them more. Then make a show. You'll make way more money. You know Most definitely. C Dog wants you to shout out your MySpace URL. Oh, my MySpace is, you already know what it is, myspace.com backslash CKL of Mulatto Faction. Go and check me out. I'm actually recording uh, the video right now um, of us in the studio right now with me and Wildman um, Jim. You know, wildnotradio.com. What if they don't know how to spell Mulatto? M A L A T O Faction. And you got a message. T I O N. I, I got him. somebody hitting me up. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> who, who are you? <laughs> yeah. Who is this? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I've been putting it down for like 12 years, you know, trying to get it in. I'm trying to get a deal. Make me some money. I've been rapping forever. You know, I did it for fun in the beginning. But now it's time to get paid. It's time for the scratch. Yeah, for real. Have you ever done any, any rapping here in Lorraine? Any clubs around here um have i ever did anything in lorraine specifically i don't think so a lot of people try to get me to come out but it's like it's so many haters it's like it's funny because i go everywhere else and everybody always you know and loves me embrace me well you know you got haters everywhere you go but it just seems like all the cats that you know in the l town 
they just go to the bars because, you know, they want to fight and act, it, you know, ignorant and be stupid. So I don't, I mean, I don't know. I just, I, they, they don't make, like, good enough shows. Like, they just, it'd be like 20 people in there. Like, no disrespect, but I can make my own party have more people than that on my own without <laughs> going to the bar. Like, you know what I mean? So I know I'm not trying to act like I'm better than anything. I'm a humble dude. You know, I'm a cool dude. That's probably why I ain't signed right now because I am humble. I'm loyal to my group because a couple people wanted to holler at me years ago when I was younger. But I was like, nah, because I, you know, I'm with my dudes, and we 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 started this together, and I felt like in the end we was gonna finish it. But now, basically, you know, um, my dude Frank G, he lives in Kentucky now, so I'm trying to uh, basically uh, break away and go on my own solo.